I am nobody to get into an argument with uh, somebody like Elon Musk. Certainly that uh, statement or the generalization was far too sweeping for it to be left unchallenged. Indian EVMs are very different from what uh, the Americans know of EVMs and I am happy to give a tutorial on what the Indian EVM looks like and why it is more secure and certainly uh, not uh, uh, what he says in terms of hackable. Technically, in theory, even SpaceX, the rocket can be hacked, the Starlink can be hacked. If I had infinite amount of money, every encryption uh, can be decrypted. I think he is factually incorrect by saying anything can be hacked, anything electronic can be hacked. I think uh, maybe Mr. Musk, uh, who is of course a very, very intelligent and bright man, uh, was commenting in the context of some EVMs in the US, uh, specifically in Puerto Rico. And he made this uh, very sweeping comment that all EVMs uh, must can be hacked. And uh, of course, I am nobody to get into an argument with uh, somebody like Elon Musk. But uh, certainly that uh, statement or the generalization was far too sweeping for it to be left unchallenged. And I, therefore, I pointed out to him that the Indian EVMs are very different from what uh, the Americans know of EVMs because the US and the Western world use uh, connected devices. They are using traditional compute platforms that are connected to the internet as EVMs. And I pointed out that the Indian EVM is architected and designed to be safe and secure because there is no connectivity. And if there is no connectivity to Wi-Fi or uh, 5G or the internet in general, there is no way to get it. And plus, the EVM, the system and the product is de designed to be programmed in the, in the factory and not reprogrammed anywhere else. So I said that, look, uh, if, uh, you are, uh, if, if there is a country that can design an EVM right and show the world, it is certainly the Indian EVM. And I'm happy to give a tutorial on what the Indian EVM looks like and why it is more secure and certainly uh, not uh, uh, what he says in terms of hackable. To which he said everything can be hacked. And I said, yes, technically, in theory, even SpaceX, the rocket can be hacked, Starlink can be hacked. If I had infinite amount of money, every encryption uh, can be decrypted. If I had infinite lab resources and, uh, and people and uh, scientists, I can hack uh, the cockpit of a jet or a cockpit of a rocket. All those things are technically feasible. But the EVM in India is a very secure machine because A, it is completely isolated from any connectivity. B, the individual machine in hundreds and thousands of numbers are kept under strict physical security. So uh, this was not so much about an argument as much as I was clarifying to somebody who is sitting in the US and does not know what India is and what the Indian EVM is and exchanging my views and I said, look, in the end, we will all agree to disagree. But sir, uh, Ellen Musk replied to you that uh, anything can be hacked. After that, Congress uh, leader Rahul Gandhi also supported the comment and referred to the EVMs as a black box that can be scrutinized. Uh, yeah, so while, while I respect uh, Elon Musk and what he has achieved, I think he is factually incorrect by saying anything can be hacked, anything electronic can be hacked. A calculator cannot be hacked. An electronic toaster cannot be hacked. Uh, so therefore, there is a limit uh, in terms of uh, where this paradigm of uh, hacking and this uh, can extend to. And therefore, the EVM is not, and therefore I think uh, Elon Musk hasn't understood what the Indian EVM is. The in Indian EVM does not lend itself to being hacked because it is precisely a very limited intelligence device. It is a device that only counts the votes and stores the count. Uh, it is not a sophisticated machine uh, that uh, Elon Musk is thinking of that can be hacked. And therefore, he is factually wrong. And to, and look, I have also, I am not, I am not certainly Elon Musk and I can't claim that I have launched rockets, but I also have a certain understanding of technology. To claim that there cannot be any secure electronic or digital product in the world is to then say every Tesla car can be hacked, 
every uh, calculator can be hacked every rocket every aircraft aircraft can be hacked and i think that is uh, stretching the limits of uh, what people understand of technology today uh, he is of course uh, like i said a very very brilliant man and probably sees the future much better than most of us but i think he is factually wrong when he says that there are uh, there cannot be any machine that cannot be hacked so as per you sir there should be a limitation on one should or many uh, should understand what should be uh, what can be hacked but cannot be hacked all devices yeah. electronics if you uh, see safe. the debate that has yes. been joined by the congress people most of these people are people who are so happy with the narrative that the evm can be hacked that they don't want to understand the underlying logic or technology and uh, at least 85 90% of the people who are so uh, including rahul gandhi and his cronies who are jumping on this debate have absolutely no sense of what the evm as a system is and what elon musk is talking about of network evm so it is for nice 5 3 4 days of entertainment pleasure now 2 3 days later i think people like kapil sibal will go to the supreme court and make a case of, about uh, evms but in the indian democratic context, context the evm is a far more secure far more reliable means of counting collecting and counting votes than any paper balloting mechanism we have seen years and years of paper ballots and we know that the evm is a much more secure much more robust mechanism of democratically uh, enabling the voting process uh, and again as i said the people who are jumping up and applauding uh, elon musk statement elon musk is saying it in a particular context it, he is saying it in a particular frame of reference of his understanding of what an evm is he certainly does not have an indian evm in front of him he hasn't studied it he doesn't know it and therefore once he understands what an indian evm is he will come to the conclusion that we are all talking about today that it is a very very secure system sir after election result no opposition blamed evm but now after this debate everyone jump into this whether it's rahul gandhi whether it's akhilesh yadav they have raised look many there is a reason for it I, my my i i think there is a reason for it for the last 10 days or so i am watching with some amusement this so called indi alliance people celebrating as if they have won something the fact is prime minister narendra modi ji has won a third historic mandate given to him by the people of india the fact is that rahul gandhi has had a third successive historic defeat now if the congress party is so desperate to distract its people and its workers from its defeat that out of every defeat they are desperately looking for a victory now if elon musk makes a technical comment about hacking of electronic products suddenly for rahul gandhi it is an achievement if they want to get little pleasures out of these things more uh, power to them but the people of india i just want to remind them i want to remind uh, akhilesh yadav ji also that the people of india have already spoken and given a mandate to the nda and the prime minister narendra modi ji और वो ट्रेन चल पड़ा है ये आप जो भी वेक्सेशियस प्लेजर ले रहे हो थ्रू इलॉन मस्ट स्टेटमेंट्स एंजॉय इट वाइल यू कैन सर आफ्टर योर दिस डिबेट द क्वेश्चन आस्क्ड बाय आस्किंग टू द कपिल सिब्बल जी ही सेड कपिल सिब्बल जी अबाउट ऑन देयर दैट राजीव चंद्रशेखर इज अ लर्निंग पर्सन एंड सच दैट ही अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द साइंटिफिक एस्पेक्ट्स more than elon musk what should i further say if the supreme court has said that it uh, the trust in the government machine and the election commission of india if the sc gives a verdict based on trust i choose not to say anything no look i think kapil sibal is being sarcastic uh, i don't think kapil sibal will ever accept that anybody is more knowledgeable than him on any aspect of anything but uh, the fact is i stand by what i said and i think anybody who with a little bit of experience in technology with a little understanding or if not a little understanding is able to read up and understand will understand that uh, what elon musk said is in a totally different context our evms are secure our democratic process is stronger because we use evms our the ability for people to exercise their vote fearlessly uh, is is strengthened because we have evms in our country and the results 
good or bad for the ruling party, good or bad for the opposition, uh, is uh, determined not by EVMs, but is determined by the people of India and how they vote and who they vote for.